Uh, H2 I take, H2 I take, fix. So here it is for those who have not seen it. <laughs> Check out this map. <laughs> Paul was in chat. Play Drowned or you'll take my soul. All right. Noted. So let's, um, let's head over to the dungeon. Oh, wait. Uh, I need to sell some of these things. Ball is made from 5k. Dude, nice. Uh, the hell fix is a layer of bubble blocks to prevent water from entering hell. And a new world. The old world is gone. Shed tears. Oh wait, no, this was something we wanted to hold on to if I recall. Okay, so we can put away our money because good lord, we have a decent chunk of it. How is this world generated? Like a normal world. Billy Richard, thanks for the follow. It's a completely normal world and then I went into T edit and uh, it made it work. I convinced you with the flippers. Yeah, see, this is a, it's, the concept sounds super boring until you dive into it. And then things get interesting. Uh, I did that Gundam and it still gets deleted. I did that on this world and it didn't fix it. So, um, it just gets deleted by T-Edit being loaded in. Dive into it. Wow. 5,000 follower. Did we do it? Are we, are we a winner? We have 5,000 followers. Woo! Really, that's weird? Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, other people don't have the problem, but I do. So, sad. How do you make a cooking pot? I literally never do. Oh, I need my other mods. One sec! Uh, that guy. Thanks for the follow, Sneaky Killapanda. That guy, that guy. That guy. That guy. That guy. And Gamer Phoenix. You guys are the best. 5,000 followers on Twitch is a whole heckin' lot of followers. We're even getting close to 400 members in the Discord server. Cubsy, thanks for the follow. In fact, at the end of this stream, we might have that many. Hard to say. What is T-Edit? T-Edit is a world editor for Terraria. Whip, thanks for the follow. It's just, we talked about the 5k and everybody's like... It's gonna be me. Well, oh, Timlo. Thank you for the Prime subscription. I appreciate it. Holy moly. Enjoy your angry dogs and your blushing cats all throughout Twitch. Heck yeah. So, cooking pot. Hopefully you will enjoy. And for the follow, I love it. I love it when people follow after subbing. It's the funniest thing. Okay, so sashimi or cooked fish or whatever. There you go, chat. You proud of me? I did it. I did the thing people told me to do the did. Um, okay, cool. So now, the classic stuff then follow. Now we're gonna go to the dungeon, try and get a water candle, and then we're gonna head to the ocean. And we're gonna try and get a snail shell because it lets us move even faster underwater. It is absolutely blushing. We'll do trigrams. Hey, Porco Rosco. Would people create alt accounts then sub first just to please heck? <laughs> Barma question mark, question mark, question mark for three days for Sirenheart. We'll do that post Skeletron when it actually will do something. Does T-Edit make a seed? No. It is unfortunately not how seeds work. That'd be cool, but... No such luck. I love the map on this world. It's so, like, modern arty. Interviews are stressful. What did I miss? I hope whatever uh, interview you were just in went well. Uh, the speedrun died, because I'm an idiot, apparently. Um, now we're doing the Drowned World playthrough, and we're gonna go get a snail shell.
And with that, we'll be able to move faster. And with that much move speed, we might be able to kill I of Cthulhu, maybe. Okay, so... Oh, I <laughs> went past the dungeon like a big dumb. How far is it? Let's, let's go for it. But so you can actually kill Leviathan, you'll pretty much roll the game. Theoretically, maybe, possibly. I am kind of terrified about dog, though. Right? Because dog should be able to dig through all the water successfully. So, uh, hmm, you know. Big hmm. Gold key. Oh my god, a gold key. We could technically cheat and, like, go to the abyss. Is this your idea? Yes. I, I don't know of anybody else who's done it. If somebody else has done it, then neat. But I don't think anyone else has. Well, we didn't get any water candles, but we have an, we have an out if nothing else works. Yellow Ninja, thanks for the follow. Why is that cheating? Um, because the abyss is gone and it's just the shadow chests. So basically we're just getting a bunch of free loot for doing nothing at all. Right, because I T-Edit just doesn't handle Calamity Mod for me at all. Like it just deletes all Calamity Mod blocks, which means that the abyss is the ocean and the other ocean is the abyss, which means that there's no enemies here which means that we would just get all the stuff for free without any effort, and that's kinda cheaty in my books. If you could drop the diving helmet, I would greatly appreciate that. Dang it. We could just make a random medium world exclusive, exclusively for the abyss. I guess we could do that. Chat, do we do it? Do we do it? We'll have to make the walk back. Yes, yes. Oh, the side effect. I mean, it's it's basically cheating. Oh, sorry, it ran away, chat. Nothing I can do about it. Think of it as a helping hand in this forsaken world. All right, chat, quickly. You can give me your opinion. Do we want to go for the Abyss stuff or do we want to leave it? I'm willing to go for it. I'm not sure I'm willing to take the weapons, but I might be down for the accessories. Or do we want to go into a different world and try it? Because I'm down for that too. New world, new world, different world, make a new world, new world. Okay, so on a new world, we can do it. All right. Um, let me just think. Is there anything I need to bring with me for the... Well, let's let's craft the shadow key first before we get ahead of ourselves. Uh, I think we need to go get some obsidian because I don't think we have anywhere near enough. Whoa! Man, it's Prime. Thank you for the Prime sub. Haha. <laughs> it's a... a anyway. <laughs> Enjoy your angry dogs and blushing cats all throughout Twitch. Oh wait, we need bones for the shadow key. Ugh. I can't get bones. I can thank you for the support, Vadimus Prime. Oh man. Well that fell apart quickly, I forgot. <laughs> right? I'm not forgetting the recipe. Bones! <laughs> yeah, it's like right after I have an incident with Bones, of course. Bone platform and bone block walls can be turned into bones. Man! Cheated in? No! No way! Guess we're going back to the ocean, huh?
drowned, but only in the abyss. Eating only ruins the fun. I'm surprised by how many people see this playthrough. Um, and this is not, uh, uh, this is not throwing shade. This is, this is just my honest surprise. Um, a lot of people see this playthrough and their immediate suggestion is just drain the water in the underworld. It's like, okay, but why am I bothering then? <laughs> Drown, but instead of normal water, it's lava. There is a meme that if anyone ever donates $10,000 that I'll do a drowned playthrough, but it's lava instead. It's pinned in my Discord so that people can hold me to it. So if you ever have Bill Gates lying around, honey is $1,000. We've got this meme covered. Time to get a job and gather 10 grand. Yeah, good luck with that. still get the baronade it has extremely high velocity so it'll counteract the slowing effect of the water um uh, i guess i could but we still can't really kill desert scourge that's the problem <laughs> once we get the snail shell we might be able to just deal with him hey kaden okay can can you just like give me one sec to, to try and get a Lava would be impossible without accessories. Um, so the way a lava playthrough would work is that you'd start out in a little cubby and then dig underground and have to start doing things. Um, and the logistics would be super difficult, but if anyone ever donates $10,000, I'm willing to spend the time to try and figure it out. Find Bill Gates. Oh, so that's what was KOing me. Yeah, those exist, I forgot. How much for drowned but it's solid blocks? Ugh. That'd be awful. Yeah, you would want to get Lava Charm basically immediately. Which you can craft in Calamity Mod. I forget the exact recipe. I think you need Obsidian. Yeah, you need 25 obsidian, 5 iron, and 5 lava buckets. So you need some iron and obsidian, and then you can get very brief periods of survival in lava. Uh, the problem is, uh, getting obsidian is not the easiest thing in the world. Um, you would have to find obsidian that pre-existed before the edit to the world was made. Wouldn't honey also be awful? Honey would be basically the water playthrough, but you move slowly. You could get obsidian skin potions, but I think it's hard to get the materials for that. Okay, you need water leaf, obsidian, and a fire blossom. But good luck getting those. Revenge. Revenge. Oh, first try! Oh my god! Yo! What the heck? How did we do that? Okay, so I'm gonna replace the jellyfish necklace real fast. I think... Uh, that was pretty good. Generally. So now we move even faster. Underwater, of course. Do we actually? I can't tell. Like, okay, stopwatch. Um...
We move at 30 with it. Oh god! You guys are making it very hard to test the movement speed, just saying. Oh, what? The Vic Tide and Snail Shell buffs are tied to each other? Why would that be a thing? Why would they use the same buff? No! Man. What does this thing turn into again? The absorber? And we need the ancient manipulator? Great. Great, I love it. Hey, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Hey, Sue, how's it going? Hope you're swell. Also, yeah, in, in a lava playthrough, the underworld would be completely lava, so. Have fun with that. I mean, I can get better armor, but Victide gives me, um... Okay, you know what? This is an excuse to get the, uh, Demonite set. That's, that's what I'm going to do to justify this situation. <laughs> For the time being, the worlds. Loop isn't perfect. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't drop it. Oh, it despawned! <laughs> Guess we get another shot at the heart, huh? Boo! What? You wanted to see me get hurt? That's so mean. want to see me conquer the vibe of them. Yeah, well, you are a dreamer, that's for sure. Uh, okay. We really just need the things that we can combine this with. Okay, let's get rid of rope, probably. Alright, we'll sit around and wait for... Can we get rid of this enemy, please? It's so bad! I'm just getting to kill Leviathan with a copper short sword. I mean, you can pay me a million dollars and it won't ever happen because I will try over and over again and we'll never win, so. That's content you want to pay for? Go for it. There you go, million dollars. Million dollars, reasonable value. All right, 40 bombs should be enough. I don't have plat armor on this playthrough, Pork or Rosco. So, ha! In your face. Kind of overshot a bit. What do you think I'm doing, Gundam? Okay, normally I'd like to make sticky bombs, but oh well. Oh, 
I like this just casual cloud. Vein miner. We have vein miner, but I can't think. I can't make the heckin' armor unless I get shadow scales. Heck! Heckin' jeez, every idea I have has some freaking thing. Are you gonna listen? Because I have a hard time reading all of chat. I'm sorry. I do my darndest, but I'm bad at it. So who is the one who told me that I can't actually make the armor? So I can apologize to you. Fear of rolls is a pushover though, but how do I make the worm food? I don't, I don't think I do anyway. Also, eater of rolls is a pushover when you're not like, <laughs> when you're not in a world filled with water because they can dig through the water. I didn't get an island chest, weird. Yeah, how am I supposed to make this? Yeah, this is a crimson world. Like, I would need to kill Brain of Cthulhu to do this, which, I mean, I guess we could try. We might have a shot at it. Where the heck you get platinum from? The ground. This world might be gold, but the first world was platinum at the very least. Um. Actually, what we can do. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grind Crabulon for a Myka Root. And then we will use Myka Root to kill Brain of Cthulhu. Once we kill Brain of Cthulhu, we need to get the Dryad to move in. We get the Dryad to move in. We kill the Eater of Worlds. Uh, we use that to make Shadow Armor, which will hopefully give us the speed to kill Eye of Cthulhu. This is, this is gonna be our strat. Hello, Burb. <laughs> Poor Burb is just like, where, where's the, where's the air? It really wants to hang out with me, I guess. Like, it's just strictly moving with me. I feel an emotional connection to this bird. I don't know why it's fall. so much sad in my body. Oh, 
much sad. So much sad. <laughs> we're gonna wait for this to spread and then we're gonna kill Crabulon until it gives us the drop. <laughs> Literally the instant, the instant that I state that I have an emotional connection to the bird, it dies. The, the second I say that, it's dead. <laughs> no, I am stag. What's heavier? A kilogram of steel? Or a kilogram of feathers? <laughs> Charo, I will ban you from all of everything. That's right, a kilogram of steel! But steel is heavier than feathers. Don't get it. They're, they're, they're the same. <laughs> I love their accents in that video. But steel is heavier than feathers. <laughs> I should probably, uh, like, actually make the summon, huh? Yoink. I just don't get it. Trigrams, you're so deep. A lot of emotional weight. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. How dare Terraria? How dare Terraria? Do I want to look at the big cup? But I, I can't. The big cup is really small on my screen. It's really hard to see. But I, there are copper bars in there, and I like it. I, I, I dig the aesthetic. I didn't see what happened. I liked a bird and it died. Sending an angry message to the devs right now. Dear Terraria, redigit. I had a bird and it died. I'm call calling PETA. Find out an area to kill Scourge while you wait. I really don't want to do dry Scourge unless I absolutely have to. So we're going to wait on that one. Is this really not the biome yet? Also, can we craft mushroom grass seeds? I always forget how the... No. It doesn't even let me type C. There's nothing called C. I'm gonna sue you unless you bring my bird back. This button, ironically. Needs 50 mushroom blocks, it'll be a while. I mean, that's like 15. That's like 10. These are all like 10. We're getting there. Didn't take that much longer. Um, Where is... Here's our crimson biome. We haven't broken out any of the crimson orbs, I don't think. Here's what we'll do. Um, you will make more places for houses. Well, heckin' geez, golly. Gonna need to get rid of some of this water.
How long have you spent on this playthrough? Uh, I think we're on like day three. Where I've spent six hours day one, like two to three hours on day two, and we've been doing this for about half an hour maybe? Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, um... We need a table. And a chair. And we've killed Queen B, so the Dryad can totally move in. So we can set it up now and just hope for the best. Wait, the gun at the grass? No, that's so mean to the grass, though. Grass doesn't deserve. I'm so used to being able to just like flipper jump fly in the air. I tried to do it while in the house. Cause, I mean, I'm sure there's a chance of it, but we'll just hope that doesn't happen. Okay. I'll be 101. that we got the arms dealer honestly that's of the things we could have gotten he's like probably second best I never see that attack before it's like too late. Oh, it's so dark. Like I'm so focused on hitting my attacks and looking out for the mushrooms that are like wiggling back and forth, and I just missed that one entirely. Okay, I saw it this time, but I had already gotten hit, so. Oh god.
Yay, I win! Give me my Karut, please. Abu Haifei Rod. I don't really care about it. Don't care about the mask. The seeds are cool, I guess. My Celial Claws. I mean, it'd be cool if we could, like, use that to to just out DPS Desert Scourge, but I don't know if we can even do that. I don't know if that's a viable strat. Hello there! Uh, I have made precautionary measures to prevent hell from being flooded because it causes horrible lag spikes. So, that has been accounted for. We got it! Micro Root! Let's go. You can craft a demon bow? Oh, yeah, I totally can, can't I? Uh... We really need to put some stuff away. Uh... Well, let's... Stop holding on to all of these for the time being, because it's starting to get to the point where it's like, you know, a pretty big shrug. Hello! Thank you for the gel delivery. Um, cool. And then we can just grab this. And then we can put down the anvil. And then we can make the better bowl. Yoink. And it's unreal. Owie. Okay, so, we have this now. She's kind of slow, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, like, the actual velocity is kind of slow. Um, we're gonna go attempt to kill Brain of Cthulhu. We will see how it goes. Do I care about eight defense? I'm not sure I do. Well, this is a kind of nice big area for it, so that's a little bit of a an upside that we have. Uh, I think that's the second heart orb indicator, so I'm just gonna get ready. Yep. Okay. I actually thought that said Brain of Cthulhu has landed. I will level with you, chat. I feel goofy. Valgords. Appreciate it.
I am actually kind of surprised I threw that so hard. I think using the map like that is just not a good idea. Butterper, thanks for the follow. It's fine though, we can do another attempt without any problems. Uh, okay. We might just want, honestly, we might just want the mini shark for that part. Like just, the amount of knockback it can do against everything is really, really nice. Also, did we get enough for the crimson armor set? I charge that adrenaline for phase two. I mean, if I can get the adrenaline, it's not guaranteed that I even get it. Like, that's a lot. Witchcraft meteor bullets now that the meteor has landed. Oh, that's not good. What's up with that stack size? Max stack plus. Adrenaline Rage is Revengeance or Death Mode. You can do either one. So I can make the armor. What is the Crimson set bonus? Does Do I care? Does it give me, like, move speed? I mean, I guess it gives me more damage, which is cool. And then I can just swap out Jellyfish Necklace for the, the shell. Which I, I should just do that. Let's, let's just do it. It's definitely going to be better if the... Movement speed bonus goes away. Increase life regen and range damage. So yeah, we get life regen with Crimson anyway. So this is worth it. Um... Do I not have other chests? Okay. I guess we'll keep iron on us. Am I dumb? What do you need for a chest? And a workbench. Oh, my bad. not be more damage depends on how rounding ends up due to how low damage the mini shark does okay um i'd be surprised if it was worse Tide gives better stats than water too. Yeah, it does. It gives um Is this just not programmed in, right? Like increased movement speed when submerged in liquid. Let's 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 check real fast. We max at 15. Okay, yeah, that's just bugged. Yeah, it just doesn't impact it. And then with Victide, just as a an example, you can immediately see the difference. Guess I'll report that real fast. <laughs> uh, okay. Can a traveling merchant spawn in this world? Yes. Uh, where is it? Bugs, read pens. Let's see if it's reported or not. Uh, uh. Calamity bugs. Uh, was it snail shell? Whoa! Maddie B, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Goodness gracious. Enjoy your heckin' angry doggos and blushing cats all throughout Twitch! Woo! 
Okay, so C shell. So it's not reported. Cool. Okay. Let me go snag that template real fast that I used before. Second calamity. So they might not share the same whatever. Um, fact. Well, flesh will be something for sure. Obsidian is hard to get as well, but not impossible. If you get Hellstone, it creates lava. And if you kill lava slimes, it creates lava. So. Uh, okay. Mod loader, da, 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 current version, other mods. Uh, let's just, okay. Just for, just for clarity's sake. Because they ask to be careful, disable all other mods. With the exception of Calamity. Yeah, I could just get some lava and then like use the lava bucket duping thing where you just keep placing it and making more lava. And then I have a source of lava and obsidian. Okay, so once again, Hit a max speed of 15 miles per hour. Add jellyfish shell or seashell. We hit a max speed of 15 miles per hour. I'll also just, uh, I want to be a good boy who's thorough about his bug testing. Okay, chat. 10% damage reduction when submerged. Uh, it does talk about the damage reduction. It just doesn't tell you the number. Generally, we don't want to reduce damage. We want to avoid damage. At least that's what we want for... Um, yeah, for most fights, really. Yeah, business post Skeletron. He's an hour in multiplayer, top speed with jellyfish. I don't know why I keep saying jellyfish. Top speed with seashell is 15. Top speed here is also 15. Okay, it's still bugged. Okay. Single player and multiplayer. Windows. Okay. There we go. Now they know. Oh, I guess we're using Victide. That's unfortunate. <laughs> also, I should probably use the Band of Regen instead of the Jellyfish Necklace, because visibility doesn't matter too much and we can just use the Mini Shark. Okay, let's find the Meteorite. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Just had to make sure Calamity knows to fix their game. The new update's coming out soon, so I'd rather post it as soon as possible so that it could potentially be slotted into that. Um, because when the new update comes out, I will be still doing the water playthrough. We might have to make a new world because of heckin' world gen changes, which I wish they would do less often. But uh, yeah, hopefully that can get fixed and then we can have actually super speed with the seashell.
What is up with this jungle? It's so mountainous. Here's another crimson biome in case we need one. That's good to know. And before Meteor landed on Sky Island. I mean, if there's one playthrough that I'd like that to happen on, it's this one, because it doesn't matter. We could just go there. I don't have to waste any resources trying to make it. So yeah, for some reason, in what is actually the ocean, it turns into the Sulfurous Sea, which then if I drop down here, will turn into the Abyss. Like if I go far enough down. Stop. No. No. Okay, I'm gone. Bye. 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 See you later. Don't come with. Stop coming with. Stop. Leave. Go away. Go. I didn't ask for this. Okay, he's gone. We're good. We're good. Like you're using a gun jetpack? Yeah, just like. Just do that all stream and be like, yeah, Mini Shark was changed, guys. I like how there's like this trail of light following me. Like you see that? Like it looks like it's its own thing. Whoa! Got my audio partially fixed, but I have to lay down to here, but it's worth it. Uh, I'm sorry you're having audio problems, Yami. Thank you for the hearts again. How's it going? I hope you're small. And overclocked is not around, so your hearts will live to see you another day. I'm starting to think it actually did land on the floating island, not gonna lie. Oh, do, okay, do you think maybe it, it's weird because of the water and it like landed at the top of the world or something? Oh, never mind. I don't think that. That's a dumb idea. Why would you think that? It's right here, chat. Wait! I need a better pickaxe. <laughs> I'm sad now. Probably ego some. Probably. Uh, guess we should go make that crimson pickaxe. Getting meteorite bullets to uncover the world. Nah, just getting it to kill. Uh, what's his face? Brain of Cthulhu. Brain of Cthulhu. Oops. Oops, don't, don't get ahead of yourself, Hectic. It's a different playthrough. I mean, that's pretty much how Terraria is. You get stuff and then you need a better stuff, and then you get a better stuff, and then you need a better stuff after that. That's progression. Back we go. I can't wait until I have like Shield of Cthulhu and can dash. Hmm. 
the halibut cannon. Yes, let's 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 ruin all the fun of the playthrough by taking away any of the difficulty. It will be it will be the best. Let's do it. Let's just get bee nades. Oh wait. Bee nades are just painted grenades in this world. Like that's literally all they are. Meteor heads hurt on this mode, jeez. Oh, uh, bright, please don't be weird. Uh, B-nades do work in hell, so I guess we do have the option for Wall of Flesh at the very least, but I'm not sure if B-nades are good enough for Death Mode Wall of Flesh. I've never bothered trying. Because I've never had to do a Wall of Flesh Death Mode speedrun. Haha. <laughs> Probably have to eventually, though. People ask me to, and I'll need to, and it'll be something. Man, how is this still a meteor biome? I think we did it. I think it's no longer a meteor biome. Why do meteorites heads do 105 damage? For the final episode, you should go against the Lord. Why? He's a meme. And a dead meme, for that matter. I I feel bad for, for Fabsol. That he ever tried to include that joke, because now everyone thinks it's a still exists. A lot of people think Lord is still in the game, and B they won't let him go. Okay, and we can also make meteorite stuff like this target and the meteor helmet and the meteor fist. Wow, that's the point. Uh, why would I do a dead meme? Because it should be shameful to get hit by a meteor head. Okay, but a hundred damage shameful? I, I mean... Okay, jeez. Alright, Brain of Cthulhu, round two. Forgot there are enemies that exist. I feel an evil presence watching me. No, I'm busy fighting another boss. Go away. Wait, these pierce? I thought they just bounced. I didn't know they pierced two. I assume they pierce one enemy and then that gets rid of their bounce or something. Okay, we'll make one sticky bomb real fast. Dang, I did not realize that. Interesting. I 
I guess I'll take that. The Eye of Cthulhu is going to spawn on me, and I don't think there's really anything I can do about it, so... I guess we'll just hang out. Fight both at the same time? Hmm. Let me think about that. Do 100k damage? Of course they did. Why is everything underwater? Why not? I mean, the title just says that it's filled with water. He's asking why. And the answer is why not? I won't spawn. You're underground. Guess I'm underground enough? I assume it's been a minute, so yeah, we're probably fine. I spawn the dude. With an attitude. Where do you download mods from? Uh, install Team Mod Loader. Very glad that piranha, those piranha and that spider were there. There's another spider, go away. No, 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 no. It's the visibility effect underwater is so much harder to like determine. Also, it's a okay. Also, it's a little bit harder to like dodge um, with the water because normally, if you're just standing on a platform, it's fine. But um. Because you're standing still, right? But with water, you're kind of like moving a little bit. In charge of which pretty off the majority of eyes in phase one. I mean, need is a strong word. Um, I certainly could, though. Oh no. Bad timing. Bad timing for that. Maybe we'll just beat Eye of Cthulhu. best time for this. Ow! I'm getting hurt! Stop! Funky town. 
Okay, there we go. There's the fight. Wait, I think I might have figured out the fight. Oh my god, I figured out the fight! Oh my god, I just figured it out! Well, that's one way to win. Give me that counter scarf, like, right now. And get rid of all these prana, because I don't want to lose it. Please go away. Thank you. Okay! Nice! Hey, Kakoda. Also, sleep tight, Sam. Thanks for stopping by. I mean, it's bound to happen every now and then on a world like this. I'm not too worried about uh, my computer. Well, we beat Eye of Cthulhu, so that's pretty cool. Now we have a dash, which is tremendously helpful. Like, dang. I playing Calamity with a bunch of quality of life mods, but like it took me so long to get it all set up and working for me and the game freezes so worried I would crash. I gotcha. I had some friends who were trying like a Giga mod pack and shocking nobody, it kind of crashed a lot, so. Yeah, no. After Dryad? We can get Dryad, but like, what were we, what were we going for Dryad for again? We were going for Dryad for Demonite Armor to help with Eye of Cthulhu, and we beat Eye of Cthulhu now, so that's good. Um, and with the counter scarf, I think we can grind Desert Scourge, right? Because we wanted something from him. What was it? Uh, what was it? The Baronade, but we don't really need the Baronade. At this point, we would just be doing it to finish him off. Um, or to get the fishing accessories. Because the fishing accessories are not irrelevant at all, in fact. Because getting the turtle mount could be enormously good enormously good so I think we might want to spend some time doing that yeah so let's uh let's go to the desert actually let's grab our sand and cactus real fast cactus uh, we have our sand and we need mandibles 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 Can you turn Gore off? I mean, don't you have a cloud in your heart? Oh my god. Oh, the dash is so effective. Hold on, wait a second. It's like it slows down slower because of the water, I think. Oh god, the meteorite. Very much used to get water breathing. Um. The Ocean Crest from Desert Scourge. That's right, you can get the Goblin as well. We've actually done the Goblin Army. Yeah, I like Chunk. Next, can you try a Lava Filled World? Uh, for 10 grand, yeah, that's the meme. <laughs> Find Bill Gates, and that meme will become a reality. Um, but yeah, the Eye of Cthulhu fight, what changed, right? Because I said I figured something out. The way that I did that fight in particular is that the Eye of Cthulhu um, hovers below you during the fight, right? I'm going to need to use my mouse cursor to like visualize this. He hovers below you, he charges up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and right when he's beginning his downward dash, if you jump he won't hit his downward or upward dash. So as long as you chain together uh, the rhythm of dashing or jumping right as he does his downward dash, you will always dodge the Eye of Cthulhu unless something really fringe happens. So that's how I killed him. 
That's the difference maker, right? Because before I was just kind of jumping when it felt right, vaguely, but with that rhythm, it, it just it just handled itself. Yeah, I had to I had to um, change the world because of uh, some problems with the underworld and, and game lag and stuff. So we're on a different world now where I fixed the problem. Uh, we can still find the goblin before he drowns. Like, if we have a hunter potion, we can still see him and save him in time. He'll just die and we'll have to get him back later. As, like, a straight-up NPC spawn rather than just a underground-bound NPC. Okay, so... As it's Scrooge time. The aquatic emblem is going to be memes. Friendly provides water breathing. Okay, hold on. This this looks good. Being on water slowly boosts defense over time, but also slows movement speed. Oh, the defense boost and movement speed reduction slowly vanish while outside of water. Maximum defense boost is forty. Maximum movement speed reduction is fifteen percent. I don't know if I love that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if I love that. Uh, bubble blocks in a small world fix the problem in combination. I don't know if individually either of them would have done it just fine, but I know the combination worked. Oh my god, my OBS is covered up. Thank you for the follow, Booping Boy. I like your name. You try a world full of air next? No. Why would I do that? That's such a ridiculous, overly difficult challenge. There would be no fun involved. Okay, Desert Scourge. Oh, double rip adrenaline. Oh, rip my life. World filled with honey is another meme. That's an actually possible meme, though, because I said I'd do it for a thousand. Which could happen, but I don't expect it to happen anytime soon. I thought the aquatic lemon was 120. Nope, apparently it's just 40. Oh, well. <clears throat> when you die, the epic soundtrack ends, of course. Siren's Heart is going to be really solid after Skeletron, that's true. Essentially, an upgrade to the sea crest. I mean, hmm. that's a lot of movement speed loss, you know. Secretly, Bill Gates undercover. Then have fun. <laughs> um. Okay. What could I do differently during that fight? I guess I could focus on the mini worms a bit more because that was what ended up getting me. Um. If I'm with Lava World, I will. I do think it's an interesting idea. It's just it would be such a commitment to do that I can't really justify doing it without it being something, like, absurd. Hence the meme number. I think the throwing weapon is stronger here. Uh, Micro Root or Scourge of the Desert?
Search of the Desert, gotcha. You can certainly try it. Oh, hey, a Hunter Potion. Um, interesting. Doesn't it have unlimited pierce? I forget if it's unlimited. I know it's more than one. Gotcha, my boys. I won't be streaming for much longer anyway, so I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. That is pretty good damage, yeah. I'm out of recall potions. This is a very sad moment. I really should just look for a magic mirror at some point, but I don't have any, like, Spelunker potions, so it's kind of hard to find chests. See you tomorrow? Well, I won't be streaming tomorrow, so you won't really see me live, but... But perhaps Wednesday. Okay, so... Mag that. We could also use Jester Arrows on the Demon Bow. But I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of want to hold on to our fallen stars. Whistle diving gear will be turbo memes. I mean, it's it's a lot of text. Most of it I don't think matters. Like, we can swim, we can breathe underwater. Actually, we can't even breathe underwater, it just extends underwater breathing. And we have a bit more light, that's about it. Do Hellfire arrows work? Not sure. The gear is the upgrade to the suit? Oh, the gear upgrades to the suit. Uh. Increases movement speed while underwater and moves slowly outside of water. The suit's armor player the plate will only take damage. The player was just taking too much damage. The armor player just reduces damage, combat pressure for this, but display effect. Guys, ability to swim and greatly extend underwater breathing provides light underwater and actually ability on ice. Rides light, period, underwater? Well, foreign virus, thanks for the follow. Rides moderate out of light in the abyss. Really reduces breath loss, reduces creature ability, reduces vengeful. Yeah, that's gonna be a big meme. Hi Matsuri, thanks for the host. I guess like the moment I can, I should go and grind that. <laughs> All right, Desert Scourge round two with a different weapon. Let's go. Oh, but I can't see with this. That's kind of a problem. And that would be why. I think I just lost this fight actually over that. I hit space again, I swear. I could use the hunter potion on them, but I uh, I guess I really should. I just don't want to because I worry that I might need a hunter potion down the line for something more difficult. Sunshine potions aren't in this mod pack. Quote unquote mod pack. I don't have Alchemist NPC. Only downside to the suit is the fast fall and liquids IMO. Honestly, that might be a good thing. Okay. So it's been like four hours, which is a lot of hours, decent number of hours for one big old Terraria stream. I think I'm good for today. I think that's gonna be it. Um, 
As for what's going on right now, the current donation goal, as a friendly reminder, is hardcore playthroughs. So if uh, any of you are interested in that, just keep the eye out there. Um, that's a thing. Um, we obviously still have the death mode playthroughs, this playthrough, and we're doing all bosses speedruns. Um, I post a poll in the Discord and on Twitter and on YouTube about what speedruns we're going to do next. It's looking like it's going to be Expert Supreme Calamitous, which is lame, but whatever. Um, so keep up with that. As far as streaming goes, Tuesday is my day off, so I will not be here tomorrow. Um, however, I will be here on Wednesday. And you can feel free to stop by and hang out. I think we'll be doing more speedruns, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I highly recommend joining the Discord. Uh, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, you can follow me on Twitter, you can do whatever you want. But Discord is the place to be. Um, yeah, you're all cool. I love each and every last one of you a lot. And that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys around.